Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a traditional subwoofer, or the one that needs to be paired with the soundbar, or any other thing, into a traditional subwoofer that just connects with these little thingies. I don't even know what they're called, but anyway, let's get right into it. So, I'm going to go over the parts that you need, well, the things that you need to do this. You're going to need some electrical tape, a speaker cable that you can use for it, and you're going to need to tear down the subwoofer to just the box and the speaker itself. And this little amp thing, which is normally attached to the back, you can just throw that away. It's pretty much useless unless you have the soundbar. There's plenty of reasons why people do this, such as their soundbar breaks or they lose it, or you just get an amp that doesn't support the soundbar, the weird soundbar thing, and you still want to use your sub. Anyway, so let's get started. The thing, so you're going to need to, so your subwoofer is going to have this little thingies right there, this little thing right there. I can't really see it very good, it's kind of in the dark, but, and the large, there's two little pins, this one's already on there, but there's a large one and a small one. There's going to be a red or a positive on there, uh, and then you're just going to want to wrap it around. I'll do this and then just be right back in a second. All right. Now that I'm done with that, you're going to see I have masking tape, or sorry, electrical tape, right over those two connections. You're going to, and once you're done with that, you are going to go to your box. You're going to want to put this back in the box with the cable inside of it. And you're going to want to thread the cable through this. So there's on the back of the sub, there should be, well, on the back little area. There should be a little power cable thing where it had the power cable. You won't need that anymore. That is where you're going to want to thread the end of the speaker cable. You're going to want to put it through there. Now, I'll do that real quick. You're just Okay, it'll just go through this one more time. You're going to want to put the sub back in along with the cable in there. And you're going to want to thread the end of the cable, this, through this and outside. 